First question. Do you have a relationship with God? Okay, let's start right here with your name and age, and do you have a relationship with God? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Brittany, and I'm 28. Nice to meet you. And I do. I want to get more into my relationship with God and, go, and like going to church and stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> your name and age, and do you have a relationship with God? Yes, my name is Brenda. I'm 36. Absolutely. Wednesday Great answer. Bible study is a must. So, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> your name and age, and do you have a relationship with God? My name is Brittany. I'm 31. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers, boy. Okay. For sure. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Your name and age, and do you have a relationship with God? I'm Nova, and I'm 30 years old. And I do have a relationship with God. I would like to build on that. Um, but, yeah, I would say I'm more spiritual than I am religious. Um, but, yeah, I, I here with believe that. in it all. <laughs> okay. So when you say spiritual, do you not subscribe to a specific denomination? No, yeah, I don't. I like to study. I actually have a Quran. I have, um, I have a, a lot of the different Bibles uh, from different religions. So I like to study on don't them to really like understand what I'm. <laughs> it gets worse. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now in life. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Thank you. Now we did get a pop balloon over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Unique. Nice to meet you. I'm 31. And I popped because he asked about the relationship with God. Mm. And I was raised in a household where I was told that I'm, I'm a God, so I really don't go to church. I'm real spiritual. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I I love love the outfit. That's why I did pop. Mm. And I wanted to get to know. And he said something about being a track coach. Yes. <laughs> well, grown kids. <laughs> grown kids. I got grown kids. <laughs> so that's what made me, like, really I wanted to get kids. to know more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will say, you know, there's a verse in the Bible that mm -hmm. says greater than is he who is in me than he who is in the world. That's so God always God. dwells within us. Right. So to me, I'm not, you know, caught on like the denominations as much. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a Baptist church. OK. But just having some type of relationship is With, what's important to me. Got it. I grew I mean, I, I wouldn't say grew up in a church, but I, I have went to church as oh. I was young. My mom, mm -hmm. you know, went into the spiritual side, so she kind of gave us the choice, if that makes sense. For sure. And, yeah, so I don't really, I'm not, I, I'm going to have a relationship with myself. I feel like I'm a God. So I kind of think different. Okay, so, understood. Let's erect yourself. Okay, all right, thank you. That's crazy. Yeah, man. All right, so I could tell from the chat that some of y'all have never seen this show, so yeah. pop the balloon. Um what is her name she she came up with this uh concept where the, the people you see line up and as soon as the person comes out you can start deciding if you are still interested yeah. and it's the it's first time rude, i saw it crap. i was like yeah, yo because yeah. a lot of persons talk you see <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so it, the premise itself was hilarious so we we've been trying to talk about this for a while but mm -hmm. when i um my wife was watching it and i heard this part and i was like oh snap it's the one. My wife is the, the one right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the one right here. So he asked, "What's your relationship with God?" You saw the first couple answers, you know, typical answers. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then the Quran answer. Yeah. yeah. But then the "I'm a God" answer. Now, okay, if you, if we're gonna you know, spoiler alert, that's the wrong answer. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, my my issue was more with his response to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did y'all catch what he said? He mm -hmm. said, "You know, God dwells in us." So I guess you okay? Like you could get that other balloon? Yeah, yeah, it was weird. It was weird. It was like, you know, so God dwells in us. So in a, in a sense, we all are gods. Great is he right. in us. He's, he's weird. Mm -hmm. It was really weird. So if you if you see the whole, go watch this clip. I mean, just if you haven't seen the show, it's hilarious. Yeah. She does a great job with this. Uh, make sure you find her because there's a bunch of copycats. And the dudes um, on there are clowns. Yes. Sure. They need help, man. For sure. They need at the end of this, in. at the end of this, I don't know if he... Is really solid. <laughs> oh no! I mean, his his uh, his response was like, "Well, you know, I'm um, not really hung up on denominations. I grew up as Baptist, but having some kind of relationship, like, nah, bro, you got to be solid with so it." So at the end, there was he he got down to two girls at the end. Uh -huh. One of them, he he asked, "Um, what's your purpose? Like, what what are you trying to accomplish?" One of them was like, "You know, I have a vision board. I'm, I manifest this and that, Jeez. and I, you know, such and such." The other one was like, "You know, I'm I I love people, and I I want to help people and serve and stuff like that." Mm. He was like. 
<laughs> oh no! Man, he picked the manifestation girl. So I'm like, wait a minute, man. What is this you, guy bro. about now? The guy I see chicks sometimes, or women may see men. I'm just saying from man perspective. I've never been a woman, um, <laughs> but they'll look and say, "Man, she bad." And what you'll start doing is like Solomon. Yeah. You'll start compromising yeah. what you believe and what you know to be know. true, yeah. because you think, "Oh man, she bad." So let me make her feel the comfortable as possible because I might can recruit her over. Yeah. Or oh, uh, we got somebody. In the, or in the, I might the lose comments. myself. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just said, depends. for the record. John ten thirty one. Jesus told the Jews, "Do you know that you are gods?" Oh so y'all goodness. laugh because y'all don't research it on Psalms eighty two. So the goddess is so the goddess is speaking. The goddess. Oh, so, so you gotta go back a couple shows and start start from there, and you'll you'll catch up to where we are now. That is the wrong answer, um, <laughs> but we're not gonna spend time on that. Um, somebody said her name is Arlette Amuli. Mm-hmm. Arlette Amuli. Mm-hmm. So yeah, go look her up because I mean she does a great job with that show. Um, but yeah, so but if you listen to him, he ends up saying stuff that I I, I don't know if he's just <laughs> yeah. blinded by the girl. I, he was saying the same things. Yeah, manifestation. I, I like to you know this and that. Like it was just spooky language. I think we're in the spiritual right yeah. now. We're in the spiritual buffet, and you yeah. can just add on to what you want to add. Y'all on ain't to never up. seen dude that funny around girls. Like they'd be like, yeah, I like to go skiing. You know what? I like to ski too. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never yeah. been skiing. I get what you're life, saying, you know but saying? I think he is the reason he didn't respond to her more strongly mm-hmm. is because I think he's open to that. Yeah. Yeah. I That's think why I said it's spiritual it. buffet. Yeah, yeah. I, but he, if you didn't know, he looks like the Christian man trying to find a Christian woman. Right. Yeah, yeah, he does. He, I don't think he is the Al yeah. Sharpton perm. Yeah, I think I think it's it's probably a combination. Of either he's new, and so like maybe he don't got like a solid foundation of what he really believes yet, or like he is one of those people where he kind of got a hybrid faith. Cause I like bro more than ever. I like bro. I got people who go to my church and that I, I lead and stuff like that. Where I've had conversations with them and it's like, oh yeah, like I love Jesus and everything like that. But like at the same time, I'm Scorpio, so it's like, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. and then also like I, I I like having crystal and it's like, you you serving a million gods, brother. Like mm, yeah. that's crazy. Can I um, answer the question one second because he said something uh-huh. else and I just want to address it. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> man. Pastor for one, out. oh man, with all due respect, all pastors are not Freemasons in churches. Second, we were made in God's image. Mm. We are not God Himself. You better say if that. You are God yourself. Let me see you create a person. Facts. Let me see you stop the ocean from going as far as it goes and stop. Let me see you put breath in somebody else's body mm. and then stop it whenever it's time. Mm. Let me see you make an animal. Let me see you do all these things that God does. If you're not a God, ma'am, if you were a God, you can do these things. <laughs> now, what you have the power and authority to do is, is rule and have dominion over certain things, but. Even with that, you got to be careful because they say we got demean over the animals. Let me see you jump in the cage with a lion and survive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. when he says we're God's, context is key. And I hope I'm helping you. We were made in his image. Word. We were not God. If we were God, we can do God things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you think you're God, you're going to come across a situation where you need the real God to show up because you're going to realize Oof. you're not able yeah. to do what you need Talk to do. Talk about it, bro. So I just wanted mm-hmm. to address that real quick. Yeah, no, yeah for sure. So, Can't yeah. be God paying bills. I think a lot of people exactly. get... <laughs> <laughs> That's that. I think a lot of people get hung up on that verse, and I, I think you just have to go back and really understand what these words mean. God in the Bible means spiritual being. There are tons of spiritual beings. Yeah. But when we say God in like American now mm-hmm. culture, we mm-hmm. mean capital G God, God of all gods, mm-hmm. creator of the universe God. That's yeah. the difference. Mm-hmm. So you may be a spiritual being, but you are not God of all gods, king of kings, lord of lords. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. hopefully helps. Um, so... What the reason I wanted to highlight this because there's a lot of people out there looking for Mr. Wright, you know, the young Christian man, this and mm-hmm. that, or Mrs. Wright, mm-hmm. and you got to have a really sharp ear because I would assume that most people would think he's the Christian guy looking for the Christian girl. Yeah, but if you listen close, the fact that he associated denominations with different religions, yeah, yeah. like oh, oh, yeah, you could be whatever denomination. That's not important to me. <laughs> Denomination, <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? To me, about? it sounded like he was trying to like impress somebody. Like you go on national television, you don't embarrass your mom, so you like make sure you get you a good woman. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me mention God then. I think it's deeper than that. I no, think, yeah. I, I, think I think he, he really <laughs> believes that as long as you have some sort of God connection, mm-hmm. whether it's Islam, Buddhism, whatever, as we long as you have some out. God relationship, then we're good. That is not if, true. If, if you do that to yourself, yeah. ladies, yeah. men, if you do that to yourself and you are you guys aren't aligned that Jesus Christ is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Creator mm-hmm. of all, yeah. there is no other gods before him. If you're not solid on For that, sure. 
you are not in a good relationship. Yeah. Period. I think I think it's gonna start being mandatory that we use Jesus. Yeah. In those conversations. Mandatory. <laughs> like, mandatory. Like, right otherwise, now. yeah, you're right. You can be talking about new age. You're, you're you should say a relationship with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Because yeah. I think, I mean, I hear that a lot. I hear a lot of uh, you know rappers and stuff say that as well, and people say it in their songs like God, this, God, that. Yeah. And it's like, man, you gotta say Jesus now. You gotta talk about relationship. Yeah. Because they're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I believe in God. I believe in religion. Like, well, okay, no, yeah. relationship is what you really want to be mm-hmm. focused on is a relationship spiritual. with Christ. Because, yeah. See, yeah, spiritual is scary. Like, I think I think we're so used to like people saying like, hey, I'm spiritual, and it's like, what does that mean? Yeah. What does spiritual mean? Yeah. Because yeah. to me, when I hear now. When I hear spiritual, because um, I, I kind of like, I'm a pro po- apologetics. When I hear people say I'm spiritual, now I feel like oh, you're all over the place. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. not. It's not yeah. one thing. Yeah. Now, if you have a relationship with God, okay, then we can go further than that. What does that mean? What is? Or is Jesus died for your sins? Do you have a relationship with Jesus? That's when Jesus will come mm-hmm. into place yeah. for me. But I think when I hear people say they're spiritual, that means one post could be about Jesus, one post could be about mm-hmm. manifestation. Yeah. One, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. that's when I yeah. think of when I hear spiritual. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just 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 be careful, guys. Don't just assume he got a suit on. He talked hmm. about God. God, this is a Christian. Listen super close. Just just be and careful. I'll sharpen blowout. <laughs> so <laughs> focus on the wrong stuff. <laughs>